Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to store your coffee beans at home. If you're a person like me, I like to use one bag at a time. So once I open up the bag, and then after that I like to store coffee bean, beans in some kind of vacuum canister. Okay, it could be uh, some kind of vacuum canister like, so this is a fellow Atmos, or some kind of one-way air tight uh, vacuum canister as well. Uh, if you don't go something fancy, you can go with fully automatic vacuum canister too. So again, it's all up to you guys, but pick the uh, best one for you. Whenever I buy coffee beans extra, I just simply get the bag, throw it in the freezer. Okay, I don't have to worry about packaging it, just throw it in the freezer because I know I'm going to use that coffee beans in about a couple of weeks. But uh, if you buy some kind of rare coffee, something like this, this is a hatch coffee, it's called Luna. It's about 200, uh, it's about, uh, about $45 for 200 grams, it's pretty rare. So my plan is, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm planning on using half now, okay, the other 100 gram, I'm going to package it, I'm going to freeze it. So maybe months from now, maybe next year, if I feel like trying that coffee beans again, I have, you know, fresh coffee beans to use. So uh, right now I'm going to show you how I package this. Hatch, it's called 720. Uh, this one was fermented for 720 hours. So this was uh, 200 gram here. So what I'm going to, what I like to do is I like to measure out 100 gram out. I put down the roasting date and then the name of the coffee beans. Now it's done. So now we have this freshly vacuumed coffee beans. So this is how I vacuum seal my, my rare coffee beans. Okay, not most coffee beans. I mean, again, my most coffee beans, I just throw coffee on my freezer and the freeze for about a week or maybe two weeks at, at a time. And then night before I take it out and thaw it out, just grind it and make great coffee. But something like this, something like rare coffee, the fact is I invest a lot of money on this because uh, I'm not going to drink this next month. More like three, four months down the road. And uh, that's another reason I vacuum sealed it. Just, just make sure there's no freeze burns. So because I know that I'm going to have great cup of coffee three months, six months, year from now. So I know some of you out there freeze for years and then once you thought out you still have very fresh coffee beans anyway uh yes it is a little wasteful but uh, if you have a rare coffee if you like to keep it for a long time i think vacuum seal is i think that's the best option out there personally i know some of you are begged to differ but yeah i mean if you have any thoughts or comments on that please down below i hope this video helps okay and see you guys next time